Let's talk about Zach Wheeler, who makes his 2022 debut. What a season. The numbers say it all. And that clipped him. And Marte is aboard. What else is new, right? Here's Alonzo. That hit him. So the hit by pitch meter for the Mets is up to seven already this season. Here is Escobar now. Escobar the switch hitter. And that's out and they're loaded. And here comes Robinson Cano on an 0-2 pitch. Got him. It wasn't pretty. Zach Wheeler gets through the first. We're underway and scoreless in Philly. And this is Tyler McGill. See the numbers from last season. And he actually wore down at the end, pitched a career high 130 innings. But man, he has come back with the kind of stuff we didn't see even at the start of last season. Real Muto, key swing last night. Real Muto, a two run homer. Liner, and it's in, and Real Muto can run. Into the corner, Marte. And JT Real Muto's got a one out double. Short to the baseball, but taking it in that direction. You see that front shoulder stay closed. Here's Harper. Tonight is an opportunity for Joe Girardi to give Bryce Harper not a night off, but maybe get the legs a bit of a rest. Strike three call. Well, he came back with it. I'm not sure <laughs> he did it on purpose in terms of location. Much where his catcher is set up here. McCann, a little bit away, pulls it a little bit, but just froze Bryce Harper. McNeil, five game hitting streak, seven out of 16 to start. That is 96, and it splits the plate. James McCann in the nine spot for the Mets. You work on your body, that improves, and you work on your mechanics. Much better second than the first for Zach Wheeler. Still scoreless. Hoskins, an injury-filled season last year, especially at the end of the season. The pitch swung on and fouled into the mid of McCann. Strike three, so he came right back with a fastball at 96 and takes care of Hoskins. Brandon Nimmo, off speed, nice play, that stopped. This number surprised me, this is a breaking ball first pitch off the end of the bat, so good on Zach Wheeler. I was a bit surprised, of all the pitchers last year, the highest percentage of swings on first pitches was against Zach Wheeler. This is a cool moment here, first major league at bat for Simone Muziotti, and if you haven't heard of him, it's because he really hasn't played a lot in the last two years. And he chased. 98. Whether it's your first day or first at bat in the big leagues or your 500th, you're just not getting it on top of that. Again, you saw the low release point. He's got an extremely long stride like Zach Wheeler. Wheeler from his windup, first pitch coming to Pete. And Alonso, it's a ground ball, left side base hit through the hole between Gregorius and Camargo on the left side. First pitch swinging, Alonso drills the ball through that hole. And the Mets have their first hit against Zach Wheeler, leadoff single. Here in the fourth, Jake T. Real Muto, Bryce Harper, Nick Castellanos in the fourth. He's been a top four framer over the last three years behind the plate. Swing and a miss, strike three through the slider again. And Real Muto way out in front of it. Harper now on a one for 15 start to the season. Diving stop, that's McNeil. It squirts out of his hand. That's going to be a base hit. Castellanos, who's arrived in a great place. He's gone from one great hitting environment in Cincinnati to another here in Philly. Nimmo's bounced out, lined out. Nimmo to right field. Castellanos looking up, and it's gone. And the Mets are on the board first. Didn't feel or sound like he got all of it, but he got enough of it. Yeah, hanging off speed pitch. That'll do it for Zach Wheeler. Easily, his last pitch was his worst pitch. Trying to go down and away here. Looked like change up. Yep. And just a BP fastball is what it was. You move it up like that, it's going to go a long way. So, how does Zach Wheeler throw a few more change ups tonight than normally? I think because he didn't have that A plus fastball. On the whole, a good outing for Zach Wheeler. A run on two hits. How about Tyler McGill with two outs here in the fifth? I saw Stott swing and miss. And he swings and misses again. That's a one, two, three, fifth inning. McGill has been masterful. First on opening day. And then here tonight in Philly. Robinson Cano against Christopher Sanchez with all of the additions. Busted bat on a hop. Stock fires. 
and gets the out. I mean, he's he's probably a good poker player back in Vegas too. How cool he is. A lead off walk here with that sinker. I can see Marte taking this ball to the right side. Big hole over there. Pulls it. Camargo Stott stumbled. The throw pulled him off the bag. He did keep his foot on. But he lost his balance and lost the opportunity, though Marte can really run. So I call these the money bags, when you can steal a base when the world knows you're trying to get a bag. He's running. Good jump. Real Muto never had a chance. Yeah, you got to work harder to keep Marte at first base. Just one courtesy throw is not going to get it done. Lindor's 0 for 3. Marte blazing speed at second. And Lindor lines one into center field. That's a base hit. Marte, a clean break around third. He will score easily. And the Mets stretch their lead to 2 0. And the stolen base is enormous. Hoskins can end it with one swing. And Diaz can end it with one pitch. 2 2. He got him. Edwin Diaz. And this series is tied at a game apiece.